So for my last example, uh, from Craftwork Rework, I've just found another passage which really demonstrates very well, I think, this idea of not relying too much on, or worrying too much about the other players in an ensemble. You have to trust that they're going to be there at a certain point. And a really good example of that is just a small passage in, in the last movement again. Um, it's still very, very rhythmic, um, but there's a passage where you have bassoon players, two bassoon players and two clarinet players, um, who as a group create a sort of rhythmic texture. It's over four beats, so the clarinet players are doing this. Three, four. Just as a small example, amongst many examples you can find in any piece of music really, of where, uh, that thing where an orchestra has to, a, a high level orchestra has to rely, the players in it have to rely very um, closely on each other and have to trust each other implicitly to play their part, uh, either in terms of their tuning or in this case in terms of their rhythm absolutely um, at the place that people will expect them to. And so it's more than just following the conductor, because the conductor will often be conducting slightly ahead of the orchestra, because if you think about it, a visual cue, if you give a visual cue that ends, there's the downbeat, an orchestra could interpret that in all sorts of different ways if they interpreted it to literally that visual cue. Um, so it's really about understanding one another and sort of fostering these relationships and these partnerships that happen between 80 people and then that's why the, the orchestra is such a, a magnificent thing because it's the ultimate example of teamwork and a collective of musicians and human beings coming together to strive towards one ultimate goal.